Hi, and welcome. You're listening to the X-22 Report. My name is Dave, and this is episode 1125A, and today's date is November 11th, 2016, and the title of the episode is Everything is in Place, the Central Bank is Going to Bring Down the Economy. Now, before I get started, I just want to make two announcements. Uh, Today is Veterans Day, and I want to salute all those who have served. Thank you very much for your service. Uh, I appreciate it, and I'm sure everyone appreciates you sacrificing almost everything to serve this country. And once again, thank you very much. My second announcement is the Cliff High interview on the X-22 Report Spotlight is now uploaded. You can go over to X-22 Report Spotlight on YouTube. You can see the video there, or you can come over to the x22report.com site. All you need to do is scroll down a little bit, look over to your right-hand side, you'll see the video there. You can do the same with newssentinel.com, same thing, scroll down a little bit, look over to your right-hand side, and you can play the video there. Let's get into the economic collapse financial news. Now, here we are on Friday, and it looks like the steam is running out with uh, with, in regards to uh, the stock market. And we can see that it is not hitting the all-time highs. Now, very interestingly, today it was down a little bit, and it looks like it was pushed back up. And we can see right now, uh, probably come Monday and Tuesday, we'll have to see what the market does. I have a funny feeling it's going to drop even further, but I could be wrong. I think all those people with the long positions, they're finished, and the PPT, the the high frequency traders, uh, they're going to pretty much bring it back in line, and we're going to see it maybe drop a little bit. Um, I think we're going to see a lot more people sell off, but we'll have to wait and see how this all turns out. Again, the whole thing's manipulated, so anything can go at this point. But what we're seeing is that the entire country is divided right now. Uh, We have protests going on. We have petitions out there. We have people for Trump. We have people who hate Trump. And we can see right now the deep state, the central bankers, they're doing whatever they can to create chaos in this country. Because remember, they're sore losers. They don't like to lose. They like to reach their goals. They like control. And when things get out of control, they push even harder to take control. And we can see right now that everything was done to put Hillary Clinton into office. The whole thing was a complete psyop. When we look at the economics of everything, we see that they lowered the unemployment rate. They raised the GDP. Actually, the UMICH consumer sentiment Well, this survey surged uh, to the highest level since mid-2016. And, of course, they did this for the elections. And what we're seeing right now is that the elections are over. Most likely what they're going to do is revise the UMICH. We might even see it tumble in November um, when we're moving into December. But we can see right now this was pushed up and the reason they cited it was pushed up was because people saw an improvement in the economy and of course they can make the case that GDP surged to 2.9 percent unemployment came down to 4.9 percent and of course everyone is very confident now but we can see all of this was done for the election we can see that all of this is an illusion and once again when you fact check these things If you go to the government or Google and they fact check it against the government or the corporate media, that's what you'll see. But once this time period is passed and everything starts to fall apart, were those numbers really true or were they manipulated once again? And this is the problem that we have with fact checking things. We saw gold during this period of time during the election and after the election, well, it has dropped. It it has been suppressed. There were 85,000 gold future contracts, which is $10 billion, thrown at the market, which brought the gold price down to around 1230. 
and we can see that gold has been down now for five days in a row and again they're suppressing the price of gold giving the illusion the economy is doing well why are they still doing this well they have plans they don't want the economy to fail while Obama is still in office they can't have it fail he's very worried about his legacy but hopefully his legacy will be exposed as one big lie now during this period we are seeing the worst price decline in bonds since 1981 during the bond market crash total um, market to market losses are around one trillion dollars right now just two days after the presidential election and we can see that this economy right now it is teetering on a collapse they're holding it together until Obama gets out of office we see that Trump he is not seeking to fully repeal Dodd-Frank and he kind of opposes the bank bailout provision now unlike other parts of Dodd-Frank title two is supported by large banks they say it is proof that bailouts are a thing of a past some Republicans however would rather put a big financial firm through bankruptcy they believe title two as it stands is simply a bailout by another name which it really is and we can see they created these bail-in documents because remember the banks the central banks they protect themselves they make sure they have plan a plan b plan c they don't want to be caught without a plan and they make sure that everything works for them we're seeing that trump is pushing for glass steagall and might reintroduce this remember this was removed back in 1999 or so 2000 and what it did was it broke down the wall between commercial and investment banking and then all of a sudden we have these some private securities and things didn't go well after this we can see right now the EU has said the TTIP well that deal is dead due to Trump presidency because Obama won't be there to push it he might try to push it during this period of time but I don't think it's gonna go anywhere I think it is dead and thank God it is it was if, if this passed this would have been a complete disaster for this country now Brandon Smith from altmarket.com he's saying that the American people well they're not out of the woods just yet he says something big is coming and he's telling everyone to prepare themselves and he did say that the brexit was going to happen that people were going to vote in a certain way he did say that Trump was going to win the election and he's saying that Trump is going to be used as the scapegoat for this entire collapse now I know there's others like Cliff who uses predictive linguistics who says that Trump is not going to be blamed for this but we can see that the economy and everything that we looked at it's we, we've been tracking it we've been reporting on it and the economy is in a recession right now just because they haven't announced it doesn't mean a thing just because the stock market doesn't reflect it doesn't mean a thing because we were in a recession back in 2008 before the stock market even came down and what he's saying is that the elites now are preparing and everything is ready they have the green light to bring down the economy and we can see right now that they're going to initiate the final collapse of the global economy while Trump is in office so the time frame right now is after January and we're seeing in the next six months or so that this is when this entire system will completely break apart and we can see that many aspects of the economy are going to break down we know from Bill Holter Cliff High many others David Stockman Jim Rickards many others who are saying that Jim Willie that the dollar is going to be devalued the credit markets are going to freeze up cash is going to come uh, it's going to be hard to get cash and 
the entire situation is going to be horrific. Remember, yes, we had an election. Yes, we have a new president. But we still have the same problem. And now they don't care. Because, hey, we have someone to blame right now. If Hillary got in, she most likely would have brought us to war. And they would have covered that up with war. Is war still in the cards? Well, I believe that the deep state, the central banks, they're going to continually push for this. Because remember, their goal is to reduce the population. Their goal is to create a whole new system. And we can see right now that they don't really give up on their goals that easily. So what I'm saying to everyone right now is that we're entering a situation, an area of time where you have this window to prepare. And I believe at this point, there is no reason to keep the illusion going because once Trump is in office, they don't need to keep the illusion alive. They want someone to blame. If they can't blame another country or group, they'll blame an individual. They don't care as long as they're not blamed for what is about to happen. And we can see that when this hits, this is going to be something that we've never seen before. And I, I can just see it in my mind where it's going to be so horrific that many people are not going to be able to handle this. You think the people are having a problem with the elections? Wait until the collapse occurs. Their mind, the way they're thinking, the world that they know is going to fall apart right in front of their eyes. And it's going to be very, very difficult for these people. And I wouldn't be surprised if we see mass suicides. We saw it in the 30s. Not that I want anyone to die or anything like that. Not that I want anyone to commit suicide. But we can see this is just a part of life and this is the way it is because we saw it back in the 30s. I think we're going to see the same thing once again. I think uh, people are going to be very, very angry, very pissed off. And the situation throughout the U.S. is going to be very tense. And at this point, I'm saying to everyone, from now... For the next six months, prep as much as you possibly can. Stock up on your food, your water, your supplies. Make sure you have gold and silver, cash. Make sure you have a weapon. Just like everyone thought, well, Trump will never become president. It will never happen. The corporate media would laugh about it. They would make jokes about it. Well, it did happen. Remember, it takes a split second for the collapse to occur. Yes, we can have the trolls and all those people who say, no, you're wrong for years before the collapse. But when it happens, those people scurry away, never to be seen again. Actually, they probably hide in their hole. And when it does happen, people will not believe it, just like they can't believe Trump became president. Other people were okay with Trump being president, but half the country, they were shocked. Well, there's another wave of shocks coming. And it's going to be very, very hard for people. So get prepared now. Get your mind readied because it's about to happen. Listen, everyone. Thanks a lot for listening. Be well, be safe, and especially be prepared. Thanks a lot.
can to create chaos in this country. Because remember, they're sore losers. They don't like to lose. They like to reach their goals. They like control. And when things get out of control, they push even harder to take control. And we can see right now that everything was done to put Hillary Clinton into office. The whole thing was a complete psyop. When we look at the economics of everything, we see that they lowered the unemployment rate. They raised the GDP. Actually, the UMICH consumer sentiment, well, this survey surged uh, to the highest level since mid-2016. And of course, they did this for the elections. And what we're seeing, come over to the x22report.com site. All you need to do is scroll down a little bit, look over to your right-hand side, you'll see the video there. You can do the same with newssentinel.com, same thing, scroll down a little bit, look over to your right-hand side, and you can play the video there. Let's get into the economic collapse financial news. Now, here we are on Friday, and it looks like the steam is running out with, uh, with in regards to uh, the stock market. And we can see that it is not hitting the all-time highs now. Very interestingly, today it was down a little bit, and it looks like it was pushed back up. And we can see right now, uh, probably come Monday and Tuesday, we'll have to see what the market does. I have a funny feeling it's going to drop even further, but I could be wrong. I think all those people with the long positions, they're finished. And the PPT, the, the high-frequency traders, uh, they're going to pretty much bring it back in line and we're going to see it maybe drop a little bit um, I think we're going to see a lot more people sell off but we'll have to wait and see how this all turns out again the whole thing's manipulated so anything can go at this point but what we're seeing is that the entire country is divided right now uh, we have protests going on we have petitions out there. We have people for Trump. We have people who hate Trump. And we can see right now the deep state, the central bankers, they're doing whatever they can. And welcome. You're listening to the X-22 Report. My name is Dave, and this is episode 1125A. And today's date is November 11th, 2016. And the title of the episode is Everything is in Place. The Central Bank is Going to Bring Down the Economy. Now, before I get started, I just want to make two announcements. Uh, today is Veterans Day, and I want to salute all those who have served. Thank you very much for your service. Uh, I appreciate it, and I'm sure everyone appreciates you sacrificing almost everything to serve this country. And once again, thank you very much. My second announcement is the Cliff High interview on the X-22 Report Spotlight is now uploaded you can go over to x22 report spotlight on youtube you can see the video there or you can Ah, 